ANOVA Residual Analysis The residual analysis is a vital part of any statistical method. In the previous two videos, you learned when and how to perform an ANOVA analysis. The p-value we use in a main analysis is only valid if the assumptions are satisfied. In this video, you will learn how to validate these assumptions using a residual analysis. Remember that we were wondering if the moisture content in coffee beans differs between the four machines it can be produced on. Moisture was our numerical y variable and machine was our categorical x variable. We performed an ANOVA analysis and these were the results we obtained. Our ANOVA analysis gave us a p-value which shows a statistically significant difference between the average moisture percentages of the machines because the p-value is below 0.05. This difference in the means can also be seen in the individual value plot, as the line connecting the means is not horizontal. Let's take a look at the R squared. This shows that the influence factor machine explains 26% of the variation in the moisture percentage. However, before we can completely trust these conclusions, we have to validate the assumptions underlying the ANOVA. These checks are called the residual analysis, and this is the final step of your ANOVA. As you probably remember, ANOVA consists of three steps in total. To validate the assumptions, we will check if the residuals are normally distributed, and if there are any outliers or other irregularities present. But what is a residual? Let's take a look at the data to answer this question. Every dot in the graph is one measurement. We also know the value that we would expect from a measurement for machine 1. That is the estimated mean. So there is a difference between the measurement and our expectation. This difference is not explained by our influence factor machine. It is left over variation and this difference is called the residual. The residuals are calculated by subtracting the expected value from each observation. In the case of ANOVA, this expected value is the mean output over the relevant machine. This is our data in a time order. Our categorical variable has four different groups, and the red lines are the group means. Then the residuals will look like this, with the mean of the residuals equal to zero by construction. OK, let's go back to our moisture example and let's perform a residual analysis with Minitab. Watch the following screen recording to help you with the exercise and see how it is done. In summary, in this series of videos I've explained that the ANOVA is a technique to test whether a categorical influence factor X has a significant effect on a numerical Y. After organising your data in the first step, you run the analysis in the second step and interpret the p-value for significance and the r-squared for importance. In the third step, you will validate your conclusions by checking whether the residuals are normally distributed and whether they contain any outliers or other strange patterns.